Today I'm going to do a video on Conad Nail Art. What you'll need is some Conad Nail Art palettes. Today I have M63 and M71. Uh, you'll also need some Conad Special Nail Polish. I have red and I have a few other colours. You'll need a Conad Scraper and a Conad Stamper. Also you'll need a top coat for when we're finished some nail varnish remover, some high quality nail varnish remover. If you use the cheap stuff, it doesn't work as well to clean your plates. This is what I have found and I use Q-Tex all the time and I find it's the best for working with Conad stamping. You'll also need some cotton pads and some Q-tips. The Q-tips are mainly for cleaning up after, at the end. Um, red is quite hard to see on this stamper because it's quite dark stamper. But before we begin, I'm going to get myself set up. It's You need to be prepared when you're going to use Kona because it has to be done very fast. I'm going to get a red polish. A Conad this has to be a Conad special polish for it to work. I think Barry M uh, Gold Special Effects also works. I haven't tried it out yet. So what we're going to do is cover half of the design. You need to use a lot of the polish. Some people think it's a bit of a waste sometimes using this most polish, but that's what it takes to work. So you scrape it across, get your stamper, put your design on, to see it kind of there, and you have to do this fast onto your nail. And see, you have your design there. It goes on your fingers, but that's okay because you have the q-tips to clean it off. So what I do is I clean my stamper and every single time I clean my plate because the build up of polish stops you from getting a clear image. I also clean my stamper. I have a bit of cotton wool here that I'm wiping my stamper with. Now I have all of my nails uh, stamped I'm just going to clean all the plate thoroughly, make sure all of the nail polish is gone before I store it away. I'm also going to clean my stamper, make sure that's nice and clean. And I'm going to clean my scraper. So I'm going to get an, another plate. I'm going to get um, M71. I'm going to get my white. It's running out very, very rapidly on me here. Put that on. Scrape at a 45 degree angle. Stamp it. See the way there's little bits here. I don't want. I'm going to take them off. Just scrape them off. And I'm going to press this onto my nail as perfectly as I can get it. No, I didn't get it quite centered. So I'm gonna go and focus. Oh, no. but that is actually really, really pretty. It's a very pretty design. We have some more designs on this plate that I'm gonna try out. We have a beautiful um, lace type effect. I'll try it with the white. Again, you get your scraper, 45 degree angle across the plate. Simple. I never cleaned my stamper, so I'm going to clean it fast. Transfer. Oh, this one's kind of smudged. I did it too much. But I'm going to put it on anyway. Press, and there it is on my nail. See, I've been doing this for ages and still. still. Uh, I need a, I need a, I need, I need a bit of practice. I'm gonna give this other one a go. Do you know what? I might try all of them on the plate because I haven't tried this one yet. My mm, right is running out so much. Again, 45 degree angle. There we go. I see we have white at the sides. Take that off. And onto my nail. 
need to practice getting them more centered. Um, before I did this, I put a base coat of OPI Did You Wear About Van Gogh. I've had it on for a couple of days now. There's my quick show of how to stamp. I'm going to show you how to clean everything now once you're finished. You get some high quality nail varnish remover onto your cotton pads and you just buff in circles. You can use any type of nail polish remover, even ones with acetone in it. It does not degrade the plates because these are high quality Conad plates. Some other plates you can get on different markets. Um, nail polish does degrade it but these are expensive plates and they're well worth paying the money for. Um, I'm going to clean my scraper. I've already cleaned that so many times and look at the polish still coming out of it. I'm going to clean my stamper. And I'm going to clean my bottles as well because you can see all of this hard polish has accumulated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my polish out, lay it down and I'm just going to get my cotton wool and put it around the top. Get rid of any excess polish. There will be some in the lid but there's nothing I can really do with that. How's this red looking? Excuse me. So now that's gone. What we have to do now is clean up the edges of our nails. We get cotton wool with some, we get Q-tip, sorry, with some nail varnish remover and just go around the edges. So you put a quick coat on the top, do that on all your nails and they should last you for ages then. I just wanted to show you how I do my nails. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you like my designs, well they're not my designs, they're Conan's designs, I've got nail varnish all over my table here. but. I go to Conad.ie and they have a Facebook page as well. I will link this all below and you can buy as many plates as you want. Here is just a selection of some of the ones I have. I have quite a few. So if you want to do, me, do a tutorial, if you want me to do a tutorial on any type of Conad nails, just give me a comment in the box below and please um, you can subscribe to the subscribe button up the top here somewhere and I'd be I'd really appreciate that um, if you want to give me any tips on how to do different designs with Conad just let me know I know these aren't perfect but I'm in a rush trying to do these today and I haven't done them in months so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon bye